Okay, our lesson for today is about scientific method. Okay, scientific method class involves series of steps that are used to investigate the natural occurrence. Okay, tandaan nyo na. There are seven steps in conducting scientific method. First, we have problem or question. Second, observation research. Third, formulate a hypothesis. Fourth, experiment. Fifth, collect and analyze result. And sixth, conclusion. And seven, communicate the result. Class, please memorize these steps in dealing with scientific method. Okay, let's move now to steps of scientific number one. In step number one, problem solving, or pro rather, problem or question. You need to develop a question or a problem that can be solved throughout the experiment. Okay. Number two, a number two class is you need to do some observation and research and make some observation and do some research or topic of interest. Take note class in observation, mapapasama dito yung five senses. Okay? Ang research, ito naman ay dapat mag-research kayo class regarding sa inyong topic para alam nyo kung ano dapat ang gagawin. Dapat reliable sources ang inyong nakukuhang um, sources pagdating sa pag-research. Okay? Next is we have formulating a hypothesis. In formulating a hypothesis class, you need to predict a possible answer to the problem or question. Okay? How do you know if the statement is hypothesis? If there is the word if and then and there is a specific subject or a variable. Okay? Tandaan class ha? Hypothesis is a possible answer to the problem or question. Okay, number four class, you need to do your experiment. In doing an experiment class, you need to develop, a, develop and follow the procedures that you made. You need to include also all the detailed materials list in your experiment. And then please take note class, the outcome must be measurable or quantifiable during your experiment experimentation time. Number fifth, you need to collect and analyze the results. Okay? <clears throat> if you think that um, your result is not accurate, you can also modify your procedures if needed. So, in collecting and analyzing result class, you need to go well, this step five will help you confirm if the result is okay, but if not, pwede mo siyang i-retest your experiment. Then after all, pagkatapos ng lahat class, para makita mo yung collection or analyzing results, pwede mong ilagay sa tables, pwede mong ilagay sa graph, at pwede mong i-photographs yung pag-collect mo ng data or analyzing the result. And number six class, conclusion. In conclusion, uh, it includes a statement that cons that accept or reject the hypothesis. Tandaan nyo class, dito yung makikita sa conclusion kung ang inyong step number one ay, ay acceptable yung hypothesis na sagot niyo, Okay? Or rejected. Take note class, conclusion is the statement that would accept or reject your hypothesis. And then, if you want your conclusion na maging maayos, kailangan yung magparecommend further study and possible improvement to the procedures that you made. And number seven class, you need to communicate the result. Communicate the result and prepare to present the project to an audience. Expect that there is a follow-up questions regarding to your result. Okay, let's put our knowledge of the scientific method to a realistic example that includes some of the terms you'll be needing to use and understand. 
Okay, let's have an example. Problem and question. John watches his grandmother bake bread. He asks his grandmother what makes the bread rise. She explained that yeast releases a gas as it feeds on sugar. So John wonders if the amount of sugar used in the recipe will affect the size of the bread loaf. In his observation and research class, John researches the areas of baking and fermentation and tries to come up with a way to test his question. He keeps all his information in this topic in a journal. In his, form, uh, in his hypothesis, he talk, uh, after talking with his teacher and conducting further research, he comes up with a hypothesis. According to John, if more sugar is added, then the bread will rise higher. You know, hypothesis to John. Hypothesis also is an educated guess without uh, educated guess about the relationship between the two variables, which is the independent and the dependent variables take note independent and dependent variables these are the variables are including in the hypothesis or so these are the relationship magkasama to sila class independent variable class it states that uh, it can be manipulated variable or it is a factor that intentionally varied by the experimenter in john independent variable he used 25 grams of sugar, 50 grams of sugar, 100 grams of sugar, 250 grams of sugar, 500 grams of sugar in his experiment. Okay, ito yung kanyang independent variable ni John. Let's move now to the dependent variable of John. The dependent variable of John or responding variable is a factor that may change as a result of changes made in the independent variable. Big sabi in class, ay itong dependent variable, ito yung uh, variable na nababago as a result changes made by the independent variable. In this case class, ang dependent variable ni John is yung loaf of bread o yung size of the loaf of the bread. Okay? Let's move now to control group. In control group class, class scientific experiment, the control is a group that serves as a standard comparison and the control group may be a no treatment or no or an no treatment or an experimenter selected group. It means you don't need to use any uh, things para mabago yung control group. Pag sinabi kasi control group, hindi mo siya gagalawin as it is lang yung group na yun. Hindi mo siya gagalawin. Kasi yung control group that will serve as your uh, comparing to other uh, variable like independent and dependent variable. Now, control group class it is exposed to the same condition as the experiment group exact for the variable being tested. Take note, all experiments should have a control group. Because of the control group, according to John, he found out that 50 grams of sugar is his control group okay and John is going to use that amount in his control group class let's move now to the constant constant is all other factors to stay the same so that any observed changes in the bread can be attributed to the variation in the amount of sugar constant variable class they might be include like ingredients of the bread the oven use the rising time of the bread brand of the ingredients, cooking time, time of pan use, air temperature, and humidity where the bread was rising, oven temperature, age of the yeast. It is to be in these are the uh, inclusion of the constant variable in the study of John experiment. Now, in John experiment, he writes out he, all his procedures for his experiment along with his materials list in his journal. And he has both of these checked by his teacher where he asks check for any safety concern. So in short, John asks, um, asks guidance of his teachers para magkaroon ito ng maayos na result at para magkaroon din ng safety concern during his experimentation time. Now, John also performed three times or trials, okay, para makuha niya ng exact or accurate result 
ng kanyang experiment. Tandaan nyo ha, 3 times niya tong ginawa yung trials. And then, after conducting an experiment class, he collect and analyze the result. And John comes up with the table and he can use to record his data. So John gets all his materials together and carries all out his experiment. Okay? And then John examines his data and notices that his control group the best uh, work the best in the experiment but not significantly better than 100 grams of sugar. Okay, yun ang kanyang napansin when he collected and analyzed the results. And then, according to his conclusion, he rejected his hypothesis because um, hindi, hindi, um, hindi nag-angkop yung kanyang uh, problem doon sa kanyang hypothesis. And then, but he decided to retest para makuha niya ulit yung Yung exact or accurate, nag-decide siya na gawin ulit yung kanyang experiment. But now, he used the amount of sugar between 50 to 100 grams. And then, to find out, John finds that 70 grams of sugar produces what? It produces the large group. Ibig sabihin, if John add more than 50, 70, 80, or 90 grams of sugar, Ang tendency class, yung bread loaf will become larger or become largest loaf o taaalsa pa naaalsa. So, his hypothesis is accepted. So, inaccept ni John ang kanyang formulations of hypothesis. Okay? The, uh, ito yung example class. Okay? O, yan ang example ni John. Ay, ni Bart Simpson. Okay? Nasagutan nyo ito kanina. And then, ito yung mga Plus, I answer. Okay, I hope class na naiintindihan nyo. Please, write all this um, lesson to your extra notebook when you watch this video. Thank you and God bless.